Hello, this video is intended to be a quick introduction to Curve Expert Professional. So we'll load the software there, and usually the first thing that you want to do in software like Curve Expert Professional is to load in your own data sets. Now, to do so, you would need to go to File Open. Um, you can see the file picker open here. Now, uh, CXP files are Curve Expert files. So it, at the point at which you're starting, aside from the example data, you probably won't have any of those yet. So you'll typically need to go and select uh, generic data files or text files, whatever you you happen to be wanting to read in. Um, here we're just going to choose beanroot.dat. It's a good, uh, simple starter file to work with. So we'll just click open. And for now, we're just going to take the defaults in the file import dialog and you can see that the uh, the headers are preserved and nice things like that and uh, uh, the data appears in your spreadsheet. Um, now of course now that you have your data here you'd like to perform some sort of calculation on it and all of the calculations that you can perform are in the calculate menu. Um, so you can calculate one of these things. We'll pick uh, lowest smoothing in this context um, and you can see lowest smoothing calculates um, in this graphs and data pane over here, uh, you can see that a, uh, a graph has been created on your behalf uh, with the lowest smoothing on it, um, as would be expected. And just a quick explanation of the different areas of the Curve Expert window here. You have all of your results tabulated over here in the left hand pane, in the results pane. Uh, in the graphs and data pane, you have, of course, your spreadsheet, some notes that you can uh, type and save along with your data if you choose to save a Curve Expert file. Um, you have just the data as a plot, and then you have a top results plot, which basically uh, shows you selected results from the batches of calculations that you've done. Uh, the preview window will show you, as you point to results, a uh, quick preview of them. That, of course, is more effective if you have many in the list, which we will in a second. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, the, uh, what we'll do is choose nonlinear regressions, and we'll select the sigmoidal family. Okay, and calculate all of those at once. And so we'll just say OK. You can see all of those calculate, and as we point to those in this results uh, area, you can see the preview updating to match. And the one window that I didn't get to down here was the messages window, which shows you what Curve Expert happens to be wanting to, wanting to communicate to you back at the time. Um, here it just gives results of the different um, uh, different uh, regressions that we just calculated. Right. And you can see the top results plot has become more populated as we point to each curve. It'll highlight and you can do various things to those. If you uh, double click those you can change the line styles and things like that. If you right click and select details, all right, you can uh, basically drill down a bit and uh, show the details for that particular result. Um, it'll show you the parameters, the equation, a uh, nice little evaluator that uh, runs along the result line there. Um, if you want to get detail on standard error, covariance matrix, parameter uncertainties, and things like that, it's here. Um, you've got a residual plot, uh, residual history, uh, parameter histories um, as a function of iteration there, and an analyze dialog where you can do things like uh, evaluate the function forwards and backwards, differentiate and integrate that function, uh, and that's pretty much it for that. Um, there's also a table generator. Okay, so you can set limits on a table and generate a set of data that's associated with that result at whatever resolution that you require. Okay, so that's uh, that's the result window. Now you can also um, get to that result window in, in various ways. I showed you how to get to it straight from the plot. You can also double click here on a, uh, any result that's in the results list to get the same thing or you can right click on any of those results and, and, and select details. Another nice little feature is that you can create your own plots here and customize them however you would like to. So if you just hit this plus button out here um, it'll create a new plot and to get a result onto that plot all you really have to do is just click and drag and drop it over there. Okay. And you can put whatever results you would like to be on that plot. Um, and you can create an arbitrary number of plots. You can either you can even do things like multiple select, drag multiple at once, and compare different fits to each other. Uh, so that's a nice feature, and that's really probably enough uh, to get you started. And until next time.